Hey guys, I shot my Savage 93, chambered in 17 HMR at 100 yards for the first time. Uh, after looking at some forums, uh, like the consensus is you can zero your rifle at 100 yards no problem, and you'll be um, dropping like an inch or so at 150 yards. So I'm interested. I was very interested to take it 100, zero it, and then uh, go to the family farm, and then you know mark off 150 yards, and then shoot that and put and group that. Uh, but then it goes planned. It was windy. I've never seen like uh, video complaints talking about like 17 HMR doing poorly in the wind. Not to say it really did that bad because it, it, as far as like what I expected, it, it would be flat out to 100. And it was certainly no drop to speak of. But um, the wind did push it like six, six and a half inches. Uh, mind you, 20 mile per hour winds, a little 20 grain projectile. And that was expecting. For 22 LR, I thought the, like, because it's a slower moving bullet, obviously the weight, um, so like when I was shooting that same day, same condition, was 40 grains, moving at 1,200 feet per second, so like half the speed, double the weight, and I figured this would be more affected by the wind, because it's already slowing down, you know, and I thought this would keep zipping by, um, because this is the, which I, I'm, I represented it wrong in the video, I said 17 grain, this is a 20 grain projectile traveling at 2,375 feet per, per second. That's pretty quick. So half the um, half the weight, double the velocity. And uh, yeah. And I figure that if I switch out to 150, it's going to you know be pushed out even more. So I would be even more difficult to group it. And I didn't group it well. I do plan to go back out to the range when it's like a nice sunny day out and group it on paper. And I'll post more videos on that i'm very happy with the rifle so far it did get minor issues with one of the 10 round magazines just as far as feeding but that's not the caliber it's more or less the rifle itself but the action smoothed out and uh some of you guys noticed in the comments like um because this and the mark ii is what i took out and just cheap savage rifles that are you know for rimfire that's perfectly fine accurate uh i've seen people at the same range with like uh cz's and like thousand dollar setups for rimfire but this being like a sub like Maybe just over 300 bucks and then the 22 large at 100 bucks so a lot of fun and it was interesting to see because i never took it out to 100 and just more affected by the wind than i would think and the center fire rifles we took out um chambered in 556 and 762 by 39 uh, like no difference really in like by the wind to really to speak of at 100 and if you were to push us out to 300 I, I suppose it'd be much more noticeable uh with the fact we have um from the wind but at 100 none to speak of and ray will i'll put up a video of ray when i hang out with him next he'll talk about his rifle um his uh ruger ranch rifle and because he enjoyed it and it grouped well it cycled steel and we were shooting just cheap ammo and for the uh 7 hmr i have not give it up on it i'll take it back out and finding ammo has been relatively easy because for 22 lr trying to find cci is quite difficult online it's either not available or marked up to ridiculously degree, like more than double the price it should be and this is marked up but you know still being like 12 dollars a box which is not bad at all like for um for a bolt action i only went through like two and a half boxes like a hundred and something rounds and we were only there i say only there we were there for like three hours and it went by very quickly because they're at the that range they um they have like 30 minute breaks where we go and take a look at the you know the paper and all that and switch out targets and it goes by real quick. Next time we go, I'm um, going to try and get there sooner. And I will bring out a 22 Magnum. That was my regret because I, I won't be able to replicate the same conditions when I shoot 22 Magnum next time. If I go and there's light wind, it's not it's not the same. Um, that's the only regret. I, I would have liked to have seen how that 20 mile per hour wind affect that 22 Magnum. Because the 22 LR was pushed out like four, four and a half inches. And the 17 HMR was pushed out at least six inches in some cases more like when ray started to shoot you you can visually see in the wind in the wind like pick up when ray was shooting and his was like like for like six inch circle for the outside you could hit in the middle for the most part you see you see my groups they weren't the best and uh like for when ray was doing it it was pushing out a little bit more and you know just interesting to see i still like the caliber very cool caliber and affordable to shoot and you know a lot of pros and that's about it not much more i can say i'll make it some video talking about the savage mark ii that's it for this video thanks for watching a bit rambly but hope you guys enjoyed it